Hey guys, James with Esprit Model Jetty USA uh, here to talk to you about flight modes and our flight mode trim. Um, I've created a model so that we can get through this a little quicker. Uh, you would have already done these steps and you'd be on to the flight mode. So go ahead and click on menu. Uh, in this case, we created a helicopter. So you go to your heli tuning menu, click on flight modes. Now, if this is the first setup on a helicopter, once I click this, you'll notice it comes up and asks you if you want to set the preset flight modes which are typical to a helicopter which is idle one two and three auto rotation and default so i'm going to say yes that lays in automatically those flight modes for me uh, had i said no it would have given me default and uh, no other flight modes and in order to add anything specific or something that i wanted to add you just simply click add and give it a name and this is how you would do it in an aircraft or an opportunity where it didn't create it for you. So I'll go ahead and call this rescue, which is one of the ones uh, that I would be adding in a helicopter setup. Once you've done that, you simply give it a control. And in this case, we're going to go ahead, click, and we're going to assign that to our momentary switch. And so we've now created a flight mode there. Um, for each of our flight modes, we're going to go ahead and create or give it a switch. So you scroll over to the switch, press your function key, and to press your switch. I don't like that direction. I'm going to go ahead and clear it, reverse it so it's where I want it. And we're going to go ahead and go all the way down and do each of our flight modes. So once you're on a select input control screen, do just like you always would and select the switch in the position that you'd like to use. And one more to go. We'll go ahead and select that. We'll click OK. Uh, now looking through the screen, I've noticed that my idle 1, 2, and 3 are in the reverse order. Uh, if you've done that and you've set it up and you've decided because of hierarchy you want to put those in a different position, you just highlight the one that you'd like to move. Press the arrow key to move that to the position desired. Uh, you can reorder the entire list. Just make sure that whatever is the most important or what is your critical flight mode remains your, your top flight mode. Uh, now that we've added these flight modes, we can go ahead and go into our flight mode trim. And I'll give you an idea how that works now. We're going to click OK. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to use flight modes in a helicopter application would be like your throttle curve. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our throttle curve. Uh, it's already set to S, so it'll work independently on each, of our, on each of our flight modes. So the first thing we want to set up under auto rotation is already set up at a zero curve constant. Uh, with auto or hold off, we can simply go in and make the adjustments for Position 1 or idle 1, we'll use a standard linear curve. Uh, idle 2, we want to go ahead and change that to our constant. Scroll over to the actual graph itself and simply scroll up to where you want to set that to. So we'll go ahead and set that up here on 70%. Select our third position or our third flight mode. We're going to change it again and we can just assign that where we want it. And you can put that anywhere, of course. Uh, this would apply uh, for any of your function curves. You have the same control. Uh, the other option you have, uh, let's go ahead and we're going to jump in. We're going to create an airplane real quick because it'll give you an idea. I think we can use one of our... We'll go ahead and use the Wonder Woman that we have set up in the, uh, in the radio. I'll show you the flight modes for an aircraft. We'll go ahead and add. We're going to name that AAA. And we're going to assign that a switch. So we're going to assign that to uh, center position of our SA switch. Now we're going to go into our flight mode trim. We're going to go ahead and do ailerons, and we're going to set that to S. Now, you'll notice I'm going to make an adjustment to my ailerons. Now, when you make an adjustment, both, both of the ailerons or both of the surfaces are going to move 
equal amounts. If you need to move those separate amounts, if you're having an issue with travel or offset, uh, just click the SYM or function one, and it'll separate those two controls so you can move them independently. Uh, just don't forget to reset it if you want it set back uh, to symmetrical. Uh, now you'll notice that was our flight mode that we created double A or triple A. We move the switch out of that flight mode and you notice that input or that change that we made uh, only exists or is only there in that specific flight mode. Um, if you want to make flight mode trim uh, that is constant across the board, you leave the setting to global, you can make your change, and that change will remain no matter what flight mode you happen to be in. That's our flight mode trim. If you have any questions, reach out to us at espritmodel.com or jettyusa.com. And thanks for joining us.